Alright guys, and welcome back. This time, we can officially call it The Stanley Parable 2. Now I've explored many, many endings of this game, and there are probably going to be a few I never get to. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Here we are once again. Thank you for joining me, guys. Now, as you know, and you saw in the last episode, new content has been included especially the exciting balloon decorations. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, <gasps> he couldn't find a I trace of could... his co-workers. I just interacted with that... monitor. Huh. Ooh. I don't know if that's significant or not. Probably is. But we continue... <gasps> Oh, I feel so reassured. Stanley picked up the bucket. And that's it. That was... <laughs> that's all he had to say. Stanley picked up the bucket. Oh, I can play with the monitors. I had no idea, literally, this whole time. I'd just go around turning them all off. Still can't open the doors. Right. Now we have a bucket, we have to decide what we're going to do with it. I mean, it's, it still looks very much the same. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. <laughs> he did, he did. I'm going to clutch. Let's head on, let's head on. What else can we do with this new content? Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. <laughs> Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. His boss's office. Maybe we do have to go back there then. Hmm. The broom closet is not boarded up again. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed <laughs> to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I'm not doing it. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh no. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk I that it has to it. resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends? That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never... Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Naughty broom Expand closet. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket <laughs> as they have changed and evolved over the years. <laughs> Let him have it. Well, me and this bucket, we've come a long way together. We came from ab about uh, 20 meters in that direction. I feel okay, like it's my destiny. I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. <gasps> there. Now it's settled. Oh, no more yes. debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. <laughs> well, I, I am. It's now official. All we right. are. I've got a second sticker back here, oh, and I'm on. going to slab it on as well because I think it's appropriate. <gasps> you see, I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. 
That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. I mean, it, it's logically perfect. I, I totally understand. If you're not sure what that thing is you're holding, look you at the sticker. What? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to yeah. be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. <laughs> and he's truly gone. Now, I, I left here before. I wonder if I should hold on and wait some time, some time later, some more time later. Okay, well, look, I've been stood here for quite some time and nothing's happening. I'm out. I'm back in. Uh, I'm out again. Nothing's happening. Right, well, on we go. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Okay. I feel like this is this is leading somewhere to something. There's got to be more. But but what is it? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. <laughs> Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. The bucket would. And he knew it. Oh. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. What, this? Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. The bucket is my guide. My guide and guardian. Oh! <gasps> of course, we've got to collect these figurines. You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. Uh -huh. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. I am ecstatic. We have found one. Awesome. Right, well, that is pretty much the mission for today, is to find all of those things. So there's going to be a lot of jumping around, a little bit of editing, but whatever is interesting and new, I will leave in, of course. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Whoa, make me jump. Okay, the bucket is with me. Stanley I am and the, the bucket. bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, we've done that so many times. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. Right, we're going to head down to the Mind Control Facility. We're going to do the, the same ending where we blow everything up. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. <laughs> Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. 
The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. <laughs> I'm almost becoming attracted to this bucket. Platonically. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. I mean, it, no! Oh. He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. <laughs> I suppose. I suppose it's it's it completely changes the dialogue, but I suppose but it doesn't really proof. change the endings. The heart of the operation controls labelled with emotions: happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Now this Two is... <laughs> best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. This is what they you're supposed to do. in a really cool way. And the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. <laughs> so I'm going to do it. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live <laughs> once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze <laughs> in every country on Earth. He Both was? of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and to... Wait. What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? You can't do this Unbearable to us. Unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the Bucket to leave. <gasps> Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the Bucket, needed the soothing warmth of the Bucket, would go to any lengths not to part with the Bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place, not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms, not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room, but at least, <laughs> at least he has the bucket. <laughs> to be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Well, oh, that's that's an alternate ending. Oh, wow. So we couldn't even leave. That was what was supposed to be. I think the best ending of the whole game is just to, to get out and be in the open space. But the bucket ruined it for me. There I was thinking, well, at least I've got something to, to piss in. I've got, I've got something to poo in. I, I can wear it as a hat. Probably not in that order. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, the figurine finders committee meeting today in the meeting room. Ha uh ha, -huh. so back to the meeting Stanley room. Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms and a wave of comfort rushed over right. him. Right, we're going to the meeting room. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. Which way was and it? And entered the door on his left. Was it the, is it the left? I can't remember. So bad. I haven't played for a couple of days and I've already forgot where everything is. This is the meeting room. Here we go. Oh, oh this is different. 
trust the completionist instinct it says written in blood on the wall. Or red paint, actually. What we know, small floating objects have appeared across the office. We have to synergize our resources to ensure their retrieval. Agenda, how can you tell you spotted one? What makes them float in the air? Who took these pictures of them? That is a really good point. That is a very good point. Follow the clues provided by employee 416. We can do it. Figlies. Are they called figlies? Thank you and good luck. Well, thank you and good night. There will, there will be a reward for finding them all, it says. Okay. Okay. Mission status. Ah, there's six of them. We've got two. This is the location of each of them. Aha, uh -huh, uh -huh. LOL. <laughs> Look at this. LOL looks like 427. Haha, <laughs> they're saying it looks like me. Gotta collect them all. Five there be, just take it from me. It's some kind of game. There must be a point to this. Right. A large room, lots of boxes. Got it. Stairs, something to do with stairs. Well, there's a few places where there are stairs. Somewhere between both red and blue. Right, there's the red door, blue door. That's, that's back in the storage room. Nearby a fireplace, that's the one we picked up in the boss's office. And then lastly, a private but smelly place for an important person. Oh, that must be the um, the executive bathroom right by the boss's office. I see. I think we're going to have to restart the game a couple of times to get all of these. But a large room, lots of boxes, stairs, which I think there's a set of stairs on the, on the way there, somewhere between both red and blue. That's after... That's after the the storage room. Okay. Uh, let's go. Room closet's still there. I'm, I'm a bit frightened to go in now. Stairs. Here we go. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's no, we, office. No, we, we, we kind of didn't. Right. Somewhere near the stairs. Are we down here? Yes, of course you are. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know... There really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Or what about Stanlerines? <laughs> yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Stanlerine. It just sounds like latrine. Not the perfect name. But, but I will, Stanley just I will use do it. it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked oh, down no. at the in his arms. Am I crazy? We're stuck in this bucket. infinite loop again. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. And that's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. <laughs> and that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come from this. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. <gasps> oh, gracious. He exclaimed, without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is oh, it? Where did it go? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. <laughs> Could it truly be? He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None of them were his. None of them were his special <gasps> bucket. Oh my God, Stanley, they're everywhere. Stanley, find me. <laughs> he had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. 
He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him <gasps> all along. It was incredibly painful. Oh my God! Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. <laughs> but that's again completely changes that ending. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Oh yes. Mariella woke up on a day like I presume any other. that without she the bucket now, or is it dress, because it's inside? Up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. Oh, she's got a. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought, and she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. <laughs> okay, okay, so that's a completely different ending again, because I have the bucket. So the, this that's why I suppose <laughs> all of his co-workers were gone. People who are replaying the game. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Right, I'm taking the bucket. Simply, the you confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced Now, the we need to go to the warehouse. I've just got to remember the way. Stanley clutched the bucket ah, tightly yes, to his the right chest. Handle. And, and this was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be right this is and the employee lounge Had anything different here turned out to be correct was this better than the meeting room yes stanley thought to himself yes perhaps it truly was how insightful the i don't think so right we're heading towards the bucket was wrong stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room nope not happening we are going to explore the warehouse no, said the bucket don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Go to the cargo lift. Yeah, got you. Um, There's a figurine. Oh, it's right there. Oh, my God. Have we always been able to do this? <gasps> Shut up. Has this always been here? Oh. We can we can fall down here. Oh my god! Ooh, there's a vent. Right, let's let's head over to get this. Has is this just in the in the Stanley Barrel two, or was this here in the original game? I have no idea. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness? that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one. Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. It's the kind of game that we all love, isn't it? So, we've never been this low to the ground. Was I able to fall down there before? Did I die? Who knows, but there's a vent over here that needs exploring. I might have just forgotten if I ever did that. Now I've don't believe I've ever been here. <gasps> what the hell is this? A note under the door. We can't go through. Where are we? Have I done this before? What's my name? Where am I? Oh, look at all these old audio tapes that look strangely oversized. What do they say? Dialogue. Oh, <laughs> narrator dialogue. So these are all tapes of the narrator? Is this where he lives? <gasps> this is where he records them. 
the narrator's sound system. What? Okay, this is day number 295, tape number... I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. Oh, it doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so... What do I do with this treasure? I'm worried for you. I can... I can monetize it. Yes. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. Um, you're pimping it this out. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful. Because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? Who's there? Camporata. What? What just happened? Gamborata? What is that? That was the spookiest thing. Well, welcome to another ending. I thought we were only going to get like one or two today, but we've had a whole plethora. And I'm not done just All yet. All co-workers were gone. We've got some figurines to find. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Bucket spread through Stanley's Now, where we know there the is going to be one is up again, in the boss's room, but there's also... Stanley uh, clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. There's, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, but oh, Stanley had so felt the, the red and blue door, that's right. So we know there's one the one there and one in the boss's room. Was simply the place to go be. back to the meeting okay, room. Okay, so the, the blue door, red door, I'm pretty no, sure... Said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere Was else. The cargo lift is. Go there. We've, we've got to go in there. The bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. <laughs> but Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Yeah, I, I mean, any sanity that I had remotely in this game is just, I mean, it's gone. Totally destroyed. Give me the red door, blue door. There's another trophy around here somewhere. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Oh, come on. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless... What if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. I got it. I got it. I understand. Oh, Stephanie no. Where's my red door, blue door? What do I do now? Oh, seriously? What is this? Oh, my God. The, the word bucket is actually beginning to lose meaning now. 
Now then, <sighs> I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. This is incredible. Enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Item yep. one. Is this a bucket? Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> Incorrect. Oh. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual you bucket. You ass. Item amazing. two. Is this a bucket? <sighs> I don't I know. No, it's not. Correct. Oh. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Oh, well, congratulations, me. So how will we know when it's real? Is, is it like because the handle will be down or Item something? Item three. Is this a bucket? Oh, I'm going to say no again. Oh. Incorrect. This is a bucket. <laughs> You can forgive me for not getting these right. Right? <laughs> Item four. Is this a bucket? Technically, is it called a bucket tractor? I mean, I'm going to say yes. What? Damn. Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. <laughs> it's an enormous machine that tills the earth. I thought this was a gimmick. Hey, they have How bucket seats. How on earth did seats. you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. Let's just move on to the next one. I thought the game was trolling me. I, I mean, I'm just playing. I'm just having fun. Oh. Is this a bucket? Okay, no, it's not. Incorrect. Oh, stop it. This is a bucket. Right. I... I, I actually have no words right Item now. Item six. Is this a bucket? Yes. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. Both? It's both is and is not a bucket. What is it? Schrodinger's bucket. Item... Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. It's in my hand, isn't it? It's in my hand. Oh. The light... The, the, the lights are on, but nobody's home. Is it? Yes. Okay. Oh. You and I both know there isn't <laughs> anything here. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something. All right, and therefore, all right. nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? Answer me straight, Stanley. Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? Well, it's... It's filled with nothing. At the moment. Oh, I don't know. No, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. <laughs> I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? It, it may well Stanley, be. Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. It really is. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from <gasps> the game entirely. No! Okay. Here we go. No! No! <laughs> is, is it really? Is that what it? What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait. Was everything a bucket? Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh, God. It's not going to oh do God, that. Is I it? had no idea. How could... Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue. But it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what. I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? Okay. And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Okay, okay, I get it, right. So, <laughs> was that a brand new ending? A bucket ending, I guess. Uh, uh, well, if I want to go down and get that... 
collectible. <gasps> what? Where's... Is it this one? Hi, Stanley. I uh, just wanted to leave you a message to let you know there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. We need milk, cereal, dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. I'll give you a call if there's anything I forgot. Thanks, sweetie. See you tonight. But this isn't my phone. And who are you? the hell is going on? I'm just going to turn off that computer because it feels... Why is he so quiet? He's not talking to me. I'm, I'm going to leave the bucket. I think the word is, is, is kind of... It's in saturation at the moment. I still want to go get that other... Look, there's... All the doors are still open. What? Something's changed. Something has changed. I, they're not closing behind me. What's happening? Uh... <laughs> Why? I'm just trying randomly anything I can because this is this is kind of upsetting me. Stanley clicked on literally <laughs> every single door in the office. Yeah. Because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. What like keep walking? Oh, I feel like that step ladder I should be Oh, that's the new content door. So I've just got to keep moving. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors... What the was door that about? Left. I've totally messed something up. Have I missed a big... Anyway. Anyway. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. I don't Perhaps know what happened there. he wanted there. to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I mean, it's one of those the things, when you know, you know. A work of art. What was it about this room that called so deeply and spot eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And I'm going straight back in here. Yeah, it's one of those things, when, when you know the game, right? And I know, I, I've had one comment like this, and it was like, oh, you messed up one of the endings. I'm like, what? Look, you know, because you've played it, all right? I had no idea what I was doing. Stanley was so and bad relax. at following okay. directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Okay, now, this time, we will go over Look, here. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Mind you, oh, There's someone you've been tempted. neglecting, Stanley. Because that was... Someone I presume my imaginary about. wife. Please, stop trying to make every decision. Oh, I'm going. By I'm going. I, I don't know. Really? I was wondering if I should just I head was in home. In the middle of something, do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince right. you of Here this. Here we go. But this was I the one really that was locked. I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Red door, blue door. So there's got to be another figure in. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. <gasps> now there listen you are. carefully, this is important. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Lorenes. Very Figler soon, and Lorenes. you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number. And that will be it. <laughs> we'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Lorenes. None of us can. Oh, well, that's true. Now... This is a brand new room, of course. Any information here that can help? Absolutely none. So, look, this is the whole... He went through the red door, blue door thing, but... I'm gonna restart the game. 
because I want to go back up to the office and get the final fig figler of Stan Lorene. This is the story. I will go with the bucket. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Stanley okay. picked up You're the bucket with and me. smiled. He'd never be alone again. Not truly alone. Not with the bucket around. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Yes, we did. Because we're going to see the boss. I love that when he says, Stanley literally clicked on all the doors. Huh. Oh, warehouse access plan. What is this? Produce one plank to allow ease of access past fence. Oh, so this must have been added in the, in Stanley Parable 2. Construct a bridge to allow co collection of shiny fl what? Shiny float. What? Retrieve Chris's remains from warehouse floor. God. Construct new structurally sound bridge. I see. Poor Chris died trying to construct the original bridge. Okay, so this is this this is what I'm relying on. There will be a reward for finding them all. So, we've only one left, guys. Look, all five top five are scratched off. A private smelly place is the last hope. Please do not leave the office before reporting back on any new findings. Teamwork and communication are of great importance during this unprecedented time of investigation. Thank you. Clues. This is great. Right, now let's keep going. Broom closet. I may I may come back to you. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Right, it should be here on the left hand side. The executive smelly place for posh people. Because nothing else has been in. <laughs> Here it is. We got the last one. And there it is. The last Stiggly Wiggly. Stiggly Wiggly. Savor this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Well, precisely. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. <laughs> so, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Well, I got them. I got them all. All six. Six out of six. I am the man. All right, I'm a man. Let's restart. See if anything changes. Now we've got six out of six. Surely, nothing happens. Nothing happens. But he's not talking to me. What is supposed to happen? It's got to be something. I don't. I, <gasps> Whoa, what is that? That's not real. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines, those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Honestly, Didn't it, it really fill was. You to the brim with inner richness. Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? <laughs> I would love nothing oh, more than wow. to revisit the figurines. Just I actually love time. this architecture. Beautiful. So the memory zone. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, this is great. Oh, there's a phone. I wonder who that was on the f I mean, calling me, asking me to bring stuff home. I mean, it's got to have been my mom. Maybe if I'd have gone on, then I would have, you know, gone on to, over the, over the storage room, to where my, 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 doll wife, my wife, I don't know what to say, that thing would have had dinner ready, I don't know, <laughs> so that was a joke, people, don't react, now remembering, when Stanley found the collectibles, this is gonna be epic, I mean, 
I, I'm feeling, I'm welling up already. The nostalgia is overpowering. Oh, we got a BAFTA. Look at that. This is great. Okay, so down, down we go, or or what? Is it down towards the figurine ah, memorabilia? Here's where it all began. The first collectible. <laughs> and then we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. True, true. Oh, I've got to walk towards it? What do I get this time? Do I get an another one? Wait, that can't be true. There can't be seven out of six. That's not possible. It hurts. <gasps> it's true. Now, that's why these guys look the way they do. Dumbstruck, much like myself. So what now? Seven out of six? This doesn't make any sense anymore. Oh, of course. The fireplace. Yes. Oh, I see. We are genuinely reliving each at the moment. Is and it in the exact order I found? second Stan Lareen. You found this one all on your own just by poking around behind the boss's office. You did that, Stanley. I did, didn't I? I'll be I honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. <laughs> but you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. I am quite special. I am that special. Is it? Is it showing me? Oh, here we go, under the stairs or to the okay, warehouse. let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? Yes. It was under the stairs, wasn't it? Yep. How is, is that different for everybody who found them in a different order, I wonder? Because that's remarkable. Yeah, here we go. Hey, that's exactly right. It was here under the stairs. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. That's true. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. <laughs> ah, this this is wonderful. I'm I'm having so much fun, living through, reliving. But I'm actually now. Oh, thank God for that! I thought we were stuck again. Let's Let see. the red ropes okay, guide next. us back to. Wait a minute, what's that? That is so stunning. Look at that. This is not. This is not right. This didn't happen. But look at this architecture. And giant apple. Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. Well, whose memory? Ten out of six. Okay. But we know there are three more. It just hurts. It's gorgeous though. Oh hang on. Gotta try the door. We move on. Oh, yes. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was by the red and blue doors. I remember it so clearly. <laughs> In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the oh, occasion. Oh, go on. Go on, let's Enjoy. watch. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. Yep. Oh, yes. I vibes all round. You found it near the red and blue doors. Oh, this is so good. Thank you for making that video, Mr. Narrator. Takes you back, doesn't it? Oh, it really I spent does. a lot of time making that video, There's but it was my eight eye. minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. I'm not sure I can take much more. That was so emotional. 
Right, back to the rope. What's going on now? Ah, yes. My final statue. Then, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here in the boss's bathroom. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. <laughs> Who can truly say how the mind works? Yes. All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other, except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. It was very, very special. So apart from that, there was the one which he made up in the pink room. Oh my God. I'm frightened to walk in here. This is, you are in the present. Is it all gonna close? No. And oh. then there was no more because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move <laughs> onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. Oh, wow. I mean, uh, we can reminisce. No, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. Do, the memory zone in reverse. Now, you remember we were supposed to remember this phone. I remembered it. I don't think it meant anything. The memory zone in reverse, really? Okay, okay, yes, the boss's oh, bathroom. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear <laughs> in my mind. Let's no. keep going, I want more. Now we're remembering, remembering... ...where we found and everything. Here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? Uh, I was special. <laughs> Yes, I love that video. Yeah, I, it was it was remarkable. Um, and now for the imaginary pink room that Still don't we never the found. Pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Exactly. Good room, though, a solid room. It is it is it's pink and solid. I like the design. Very well done. Okay. This is bizarre. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have muted the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Next one. But within the next one, the last one? No, my math is bad. Two more, right? Oh, the warehouse. I wonder. What would have happened if I'd gone that way? Let's grab this one next. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. So maybe I could have gone down that warehouse direction. It would... Oh yes, here we go. Here we go. It's this all right. It. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? What came before this? I mean, uh, not having the figurines came before this. Don't do that to me now. Collect them all. Can you find them? Can you find them? And they said there was going to be no reward. Utter lies. This is reward alone isn't it the collect oh we're back here yes of course this is where we first learned about them in the new content zone oh this is the jump spot Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on that i remember be. hating it back then but time does put a rosy filter on everything in fact i dare say i'm actually quite fond of it now Look how much fun the past is. I want... Oh, yes! The two doors! Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. <laughs> this has been really quite um, emotional. Like, almost like this should be my last episode. And we're finally back to our office. And before everything else, there was your office. Well, this has been is immense. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? 
there's something I feel I can remember? I can remember. I can remember. Wait, what? Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then, I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then, somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy, and I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions, he would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. <laughs> Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. <gasps> but uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I what? enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. What the hell is actually happening? That, that, I mean, that felt like that was a, almost a natural this conclusion. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee this is, number This is genuinely it, isn't it? Right, I have to skip. So this is back to the beginning again, but I think that's actually... It's my ending. All of his co-workers were gone. Yeah. I, I think, mean? guys, I'm gonna... Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I I just feel like I've got to stop. I must. I simply must. But I've loved this game so much. There's... Maybe there's there's other a couple of other things I haven't done. I'm almost certain that that will be true. But... I, I, I'm, I'm just... Uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe if you guys really, really want to see me do something else and you know of something else, I feel like I've exhausted this game. And I am exhausted. But I've loved it. What a unique game to play. Uh, three, four hours, maybe four and a half, five. I don't know how long I've played it for. But wow, it's just... It's so, so different. And it has a bucket. Guys, I've loved it. Thank you so much for, for watching, for, for enjoying, for your wonderful, wacky, weird comments. I see you've enjoyed it or, or have been as perplexed by it as I have. All the very best. Thanks for watching, and, it, and I hope you've enjoyed this series. If you have serious suggestion for another episode, because you, you give me a, an idea of what to go do, I'll do it. But I feel like I've exhausted all paths that I'm willing to exhaust. Thank you for watching. All the very, very best from me and Stanley's Bucket. Good night.